Hello folks, we are back for another fun episode of Chef Eden and whatever we got going on here today. Uh, I believe it's Thai turmeric chicken rice. Chicken rice. So I've never seen this before. I have no idea what she's about to do here, but uh, let's wait and see. Thai turmeric chicken rice. Sounds interesting. Do you smell it? Oh, I smell it for sure. <laughs> Smells good. Thai turmeric chicken rice. Yes. I use turmeric, fresh turmeric for the marinade. No, okay, so the turmeric is the yellow stuff? Yeah, the orange. The marinade? Stuff. Yes, orange. Turmeric because I don't have turmeric powder. Okay. We have to wait until golden ball. Okay, so the turmeric, let me get this straight. The turmeric is something you can purchase in the store, but, yeah. or make by yourself? Turmeric powder, and you can use turmeric powder to mix with the other, other ingredients for your marinade. But you can also use, if you don't have to, you have another option, if you don't have the, the Turmeric powder, you can use your fresh turmeric uh, roots, which is you can buy at the local market. Okay. So I know you were making something in there, crushing up the stuff in the. Uh... Yeah. yeah, I use that one. Uh, I crush with together with the ginger root, coriander root, garlic, and the turmeric root. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so basically, if if someone wants to make this marinade, they can just buy it in the store for yeah, the most part. They, they don't have always. to make it homemade like what you are doing. Yeah, always they can use the thing. Okay. So that's and that's all chicken. That's what is it? Chicken? Chicken, uh, chicken you, you thighs? You can always you can uh, use the quarter fat. Yeah. Chicken thigh or any part of the chicken, but. It's up to you which one you want. What are we making? We're making thighs, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait until golden brown. Okay, well, we'll come back when that happens. All right. Okay, we're back. Anyways, I was talking to Eden while we were taking a break, and um, I was trying to get it clear in my head as to how we would make this turmeric. Because, like me, for instance, I, I'm not a big... I'm not a... I'm not a good cook, so I really would need to have this broken down elementary for me to understand. So, if I wanted to make this turmeric sauce for the chicken, I would go out to the, I, me, I would probably go out to the grocery store and buy some turmeric seasoning from McCormick, and then what would I do with it after I bought that, honey? Okay. You can mix up with the other ingredients together with the cream that I used to mix up. That's why you ask, you keep asking me why it's watery and why. Because I use, I put some cream together with the other ingredients for my marinade cream. Okay, but what I'm saying is, if I went to the grocery store, yeah. and I wanted to buy, and I bought some turmeric mm. seasoning, which is in a powder form, because it's McCormick, yeah. like in the seasoning section. Now I want to make that into a liquid form so I can marinate my chicken how would I make, how would, what would I do with my McCormick you seasoning? You need to dilute that. You just put together with the one that you wanted to season about it. Uh, you wanted to season like, uh, like chicken or right. other meat. You just put all together with the powder thing. Not, no need to dilute anything or mix some, uh, mix for something. So I'm just going to sprinkle the powder all yes. over the chicken? Yes. But not like yours. Yours is liquid. I use, because I use, uh, I use, uh, I use fresh one. 
Right. I have to pound it together with the other ingredients. Okay. And then mix with the mix with the cream. That's why. Oh, you mix it's it with cream. cream. So the yeah. cream is what gives it the liquid form. Yes. Okay. So what kind of cream? Like a like just a regular white. White cream. Heavy white cream. cream would be. Like fun. evaporated milk no, or no? I no. use Alaska cream. Alaska yeah. cream. Yes. Okay. So you would want it. So I would. I'm dumb. I don't know how to cook. Yeah. I go to the seasoning section at the grocery store. I buy McCormick um, seasoning, tur tur <laughs> turmeric seasoning. Okay. Oh, I bring it home, and I'm going to mix that up with some cream, get it into a liquid form, and then maybe put it in a big Ziploc bag with some chicken, mm -hmm. whatever, and then mm -hmm. let it marinate. Okay. Yeah. I think I got it. Okay. Because there's other, you know, there's other people that are going to watch this and be like. Oh, how the heck do you do this? You know, just like me. How can I do this in the most simplest way possible? Mm. All right, but anyways, we're at golden brown right now, and it looks really, really good. You did that first. Okay, thanks, hon, for answering the question. Okay, okay we're at uh, golden brown now, so what's next? We have to take out from the oil. From the oil. Mm -hmm. Dry the piece now. Then drain the oil. Looking pretty darn good. Quick view. Okay. I have to put down this one. Ah, I'm going to use another pot. For okay. The I need this pot. <laughs> hey, you want to switch? So you can hold the camera real quick and I'll do this. Okay. Help me yeah. in. Okay. You hold. <laughs> hold We're gonna switch off here. Okay. Just look at, just look right there. Okay. Yes. My husband's helping me for the pan because it's, it's too heavy. So, okay, so we have the five quart Dutch oven. Mm -hmm. That's what you want, right? Yeah, that is the one I want. So five quart okay. large Dutch oven. There we go. Oh, we're moving into Dutch oven territory. Yes. We're getting serious now. Heat up and then. Uh... Right. Heat up and put some of the oil, remaining oil. The oil in. that you use here. Okay. To put the a little bit of oil in there. Yeah. This is what you're going to use to okay. fry the other things. Anyway, this is one from my brother from Canada. Thank you, Kuya Fred, for giving me this. <laughs> Now I'm using it already. Ah, okay. hot mitt. Yes. Nice. nice. All right, so we will be right back. Heat up the. Okay, so preheating a little bit of that oil. Uh, chicken or that oil from the cooked chicken. And Got some white onion and tomato. What diced or yes, diced. sliced? Diced. diced. Oh, I love that smell. <laughs> no garlic in there? No. Okay. Some garlic already at the sauce. Gotcha. Caramelize the onion. The caramel thing the Okay. Caramelize the onions before putting in the diced, diced up tomatoes. Onion. Leave all the onion juices in there, correct? Yeah. Okay. Tell you what, Dutch ovens are the way to go. Yeah. 
Looks good. Smells good. Okay, what's next? Tomatoes? Yes. I really love this part. So added tomatoes after caramelizing the onions. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, uh, all this is being stirred in with preheated uh, oil from the chicken from the that we fried here a little bit ago. And that original oil that you put in on the frying pan for the chicken, that was olive oil or? Palm oil. Palm oil? Yes. Okay. Okay, next. Next. The rice. One cup, two cups, three cups? Two cups. About two cups of rice? Yeah. That's just regular dry rice right in yeah. there. Wow. Check that out. And then you have to put this one for the added flavor. Okay. And the rest the, of the marinade is from the marinade. That's the turmeric? Yeah, turmeric, turmeric root, ginger, garlic, and uh, coriander all together. Okay. We might have to make a separate video just on that. <laughs> to show how you made that. It's so busy yeah. looking for something. Eh? Okay. Yeah, let me see if I can get a close-up of that. That looks absolutely amazing. God dang. It smells mm -hmm. wicked good. Without getting the lens fogged up. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. It's a nice and then bird's eye. The bay leaves. Dry bay What's leaves. that? Bay leaves? Okay. And then a pinch of cinnamon powder. Pinch of cinnamon powder. That's an interesting addition. Cool. And I'll twist that up. This is crazy cool. I, I've never, ever seen this um, cooked, prepared, whatever you want to call it. So, you have to flatten, you have to flatten the rice. Flatten the rice? Yes. And How come? We'll see what's next. Oh, okay, I'll just wait and see. You're gonna put the rice. Ah, uh, I get it. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. If I can get a good shot of this, I guess I'll wait until you... Arrange them all together. Okay. Just lay them, just like a, on a rice bed. Lay the chicken on the rice bed and then cover it. No, uh, you, have, you have to wait. Okay. I'm just as much in the dark as, as y'all. <laughs> I'm still just waiting to see what this is all about here. Getting a better idea though. Alright, we'll be right back. Chicken stocks for to cook. Chicken stock. Yeah, to cook the rice. Alright. Okay. Whoa. And let it cook. Chicken stock. And that chicken stock came from where? From boiled chicken. Okay. Easy enough. Okay. So okay, so we're boiling. Let me see if I can do this without getting a getting the lens all steamy. You get a lot of steam coming out of this pan. Alright. Okay. So I'll grab the cover. <laughs> Help your hand. Yeah. So there we have it guys. 
ladies. We have to cover this up and let her, I guess, cook away, steam away, whatever. So, yeah, cook like normal, normal rice. Yeah, that looks awesome. Ooh, man. All right, we'll be back in a few. Okay, we're done cooking. Can you see? Go on, watch out. So that's the finished product. Yeah, this is my. I put some fresh bay leaves. I know fresh bay, sweet basil leaves from my plant. Fresh basil? Yeah, fresh basil leaves. So for now, you are We can do plating. Okay, so we kept this. Um, after we put the rice in there and the chicken and everything, we let it basically simmer uh, on the stove top for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And that, that way the rice could steam cook and the uh, chicken, of course, could uh, steam it up. You know, we could steam up the chicken a little bit more and make it that much more moist. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so everything in there has uh, been, like I said, been uh, cooked for about 15 minutes with the cover on the with on the uh, Dutch oven uh, over eh, kind of low heat simmering heat um, just to get everything uh, steamed up and nice and moist okay. so okay hon okay I'm going to plate up I will make some plating this would be for my husband <laughs> <laughs> I think that's <laughs> It's a lot. That rice is moist. And very moist. So the whole thing together is called Thai turmeric chicken rice. Thai turmeric chicken, chicken rice. rice. I think when I was a kid we saw it. Um, made with like mushroom soup and <laughs> chicken and then baked in the oven and basically the same idea the same concept except we use uh, the old comfort food method the old mushroom soup and cream of mushroom soup rather okay. chicken and rice but this is the Thai turmeric version for some touch last touch All right, so there you have it, folks. Thai turmeric chicken. chicken rice. All right, I try to keep these videos brief. Uh, sometimes it's not that easy to do. Um, this one took a while. So hope you enjoyed it. Take care, everyone, and we will see you soon.